another video back 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 and today i am in a hair collaboration with dom millie hair and hey, y'all look at this freaking highlights uh it's like chunky highlights at the top and at the bottom so if you flip it back oh 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 don't play with a look at these highlights oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm feeling myself don't play with her she is not one of them okay but y'all already know what to do go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you would like to see how i achieve this bomb freaking look i love y'all let's get right into the video y'all look at these highlights Ooh, i'm so excited so y'all, with this install, I am not gonna be gluing it. I'm going to be using this uh, melting spray by the wig dealer. Um, so we about to test it out and see how good of a hold it has. So that's what I'm gonna be using instead of the Gossipy glue. Cause normally if I don't glue it on, I use the Gossipy spray, but I'm gonna use this today. So let's just go ahead and give it a test. All right, y'all. So the first step when I do my um my spray installs, I like to use some powder. And just like put it on my hairline to make it like camouflage, really. That's what I like to do to kind of make it real camouflage. Real, real, real camouflage as much as I can, really. So it's going to make it look like I got a huge, huge, huge forehead, like for real. But I just like to do that because I just feel like it blends better. And it's glue, like it will not come off. So we're just going to have to leave that there in hopes that it doesn't mess up the install, which it shouldn't. But you can start with a clean hairline if you want to, but this is just what I do. So this is what we're gonna do today, baby. Um, all right, so just make sure it's blended out as much as possible. Now we're about to go ahead and just put our wig on. So what I did was I already put some concealer on the back so that it blends really, really good. But now I need to go ahead and put it on my head and fit it on my head and see if I can get some good plucks in. So that's what y'all are about to see me do right now. Okay, it's giving Sierra. This beat is automatic. Okay, hold on y'all. Okay y'all, so I'm just fitting it around my ears and stuff and it feels like a pretty good fit. I haven't plucked it yet, so that's what I'm about to do in a second. But Okay, y'all, so now what y'all want to do is cut around your ears. Like, make sure that it fits amazingly. Like, you want it to fit very comfortably. So, just put it, cut around your ears. Just like, all right, y'all, so it should be like this. Like, literally behind your ears. Okay, babe, so now I'm going ahead and put the wig on and I'm just fitting it on my head to make sure that it fits perfectly. Now I'm using this melting spray just to apply it on my hairline and to get the lace to melt into my skin. And I really only use one layer and then y'all are going to see me blow dry it on cool and sometimes warm. Okay, babe so it's completely on and now i'm about to go ahead and just start cutting off my excess lace okay, so 
So here you'll see me starting to apply some powder just to kind of camouflage a little bit of the whiteness a little bit. Um, it didn't leave too much of a cast, but I just wanted to be seamless, so I did that. And I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Okay, y'all already know what time it is. It's baby hair time. It's baby hair time. It's baby hair time. <laughs> so y'all can leave out as much as y'all want. Um, I'm going to be using the Got To Be Spray to do my baby hairs. And you guys will see me curling up my baby hairs before I actually lay them down.
right, baby. So now it's time to style the wigs. And that's what I'm about to do. I put some Fantasia, um, some heat protector on. And now I'm about to just bone straight in this hair. And this hair straightens so bomb. Like, oh my goodness. Holy grail. Like, so freaking good. This was probably like one of my um best installs I feel like I did on myself. I really, really enjoyed doing this tutorial. Sure that wax stick is handy okay that's how we're gonna get it to be real flat and real chic and sleek looking melt that hair down with that hot comb y'all don't play okay we need no humps or bumps Ooh, that sexy thing right there don't play with her she's not one of them y'all look how cute this came out oh my god thank you baby so much for watching this video this tutorial was really really simple and easy and y'all the best part about it is if you don't like to sleep in your wigs and stuff all you gotta do is put some water on it and take it off literally take it off like the spray holds so good like and i only use one layer of spray and i might have had to touch up just a little bit but nothing too too crazy like i didn't have to layer this too much like how you have to layer the glue and stuff i didn't have to do all of that and then to blend it i just used some powder and a little bit of my concealer and that was it like oh my god um with this hair i didn't get no shedding the only shedding you guys will see is me combing it out because i did pluck my wig um it was a little lightly pre-plugged but it wasn't like too too major so if you want to pluck more you can if you don't then that's fine too but i want it to look a little bit more seamless a little bit more in melting like a melting look and stuff like that so i was like you know what let me just do a little bit more plucking so that's what i did i didn't bleach it because the knots are already like a blonde color so i was like i don't really have to bleach it and if i come up y'all see i don't have to bleach it like it's literally melted um y'all already know i'm gonna leave all the details in the description box below make sure y'all use those codes to get money off um like my video subscribe comment i love you guys and i can't wait to see you in the next video Mwah.